Hello Buckeye fans, Jeff Rash here with Coach Alan Metzel. Welcome to the Coaches Show. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about this week, uh, but first of all, uh, holy cow, I don't think you and the Buckeyes got the memo that was supposed to be a close game. Well, So, um, what happened? <laughs> well, I'm very grateful that uh, we won the turnover battle 7-0, to zero, Yeah. <laughs> and when you do that, you ought to win. Uh, they, they're an extremely talented team. Oh, man. And, uh, that they had all those turnovers. And it was still potentially a one-score game in the fourth quarter. I was nervous in the third quarter. I know. Yeah. Uh, that just lets you know how good they were. And uh, we're very grateful. We Our guys played well and uh, very excited for the, the outcome of the game and the way we started the season. Yeah, and for people that thought we were bluffing or just trying to build up the mm -hmm. game, I want to remind you that, that they are Division One. We're Division Two, So that right. means they're a bigger school than us. What's their enrollment, do you know? I don't. I, probably 11, 1,200. Yeah, it has to be over 1,000, mm -hmm. right, to be Division One, And and they're ranked, like, third? They were third coming third, in. Third. So ranked third in Division One, and we're ranked second in Division Two. Mm -hmm. So that should have been a, you know, I, I thought it would be within one score one way or the other. I was hoping we could maybe by the last drive of the game go down to score to win. That yeah. was my goal. Yeah. So we're, we're very grateful. Yeah, well, they, they've got a tremendous team, a lot of athletes. I think when they iron out a few little things mm -hmm. on their side, they're going to be You good. know, they had some problems getting the – they fumbled a lot, you know, the quarterback mm -hmm. from, the, from the center. Snaps. Snaps were, were rough. You know, we've been there before. We mm -hmm. know how that is. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, but, well, boy, they can scramble and run. Oh, and they've got, they've got some talented backs. Yeah, and, got over 200-something yards rushing, you know, and we – we were zeroed in on him, and he still had that much. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, very talented. Brisbane, you know, great quarterback. Mm -hmm. So we wish them all the best this last year. I didn't see 51-27. I don't think you would have – we would have both lost RC. money. Yeah, I'd yeah. take it, but we would have lost money on him. Mm -hmm. No doubt. So that was a great game. Uh, let's talk about a few highlights that you saw that you liked. One mm -hmm. of the things you and I talked about after the game, one of the things I was – there was a lot to be pleased with. First game out, uh, relatively – few penalties correct I mean normally you start seeing a lot of you know first game first few games you see a lot of like a you know procedure, uh, illegal penalties. procedure right. that kind of stuff in the mm -hmm. offensive line you know jittery mm -hmm. didn't see didn't mm -hmm. I think we had two of those maybe mm -hmm. something like that in the game right. uh, so penalties were great special teams played a big part special teams were huge and we we put a huge emphasis on it because we knew with the talent level they had we had to scratch and claw to get every single play and, and they came up big in this yeah. game. Well, and, and really special teams became, there's some things you control, mm -hmm. especially when you're punting or when you're kicking. Mm -hmm. When you're on kickoff return, there's a lot of times you're, you're just, you take what's given to you. And they, you know, mistakenly were kicking the balls to just the wrong people. Mm -hmm. But then when you look in the back, we were talking about that on the broadcast, we were like, man, don't kick it to that guy. Oh, don't kick it to that guy. And we're like looking in the backfield going, well, who, where can they We've kick it? We've got some talented guys yeah. right there. Yeah, where, where, where are they going to kick it? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and it bit them once. We're yes. going to watch a highlight of that here in a minute when Tate, you know, returned one right. for a touchdown. Uh, some other things that I noticed, um, one of the things I was really thrilled with was Caden Tennyson's performance. Very poised. Mm -hmm. He didn't panic. He wasn't looking for holes to run through. He was looking for receivers to throw to. Mm -hmm. and, and he's only thrown three balls in a varsity game, if I'm correct from last year mm -hmm. this was his first that's it his first game mm -hmm. first and I thought he was very poised he, he played extremely well he played within himself you know and that's what we asked him to do we asked him to uh, whenever something didn't go right don't make it worse you know those kind of things yeah. know how to get out of the play know how to uh, make sure you're communicating with your receivers with your running backs with your linemen those kind of things he did a great job we we had some shifts and motions and things like that that uh, throughout the game, and he handled those well. Uh, you know, we had adversity. We started out the game behind. Uh, yeah. We had several times where we really needed to get a first down, and we were having to scratch and claw, and a couple times we didn't. He didn't let it phase him. You know, he just stayed. Uh, he stayed within himself, and that's what we asked for. Uh, showed a lot of maturity. Really yeah, did. He did. Uh, obviously, we'll stay on the offensive side of the ball. You've got – you got three or four really good receivers. Very talented in our skill positions. Yeah, we really are. Your running backs, you got tremendous depth. We uh, we do. You got probably the, you could, we don't always get to say this, but you're going to have the fastest kid on the field for at least Most one of games them, for mo probably every game you yeah. play this year with Will Henderson. With Will Henderson, right. so you got that speed, you got the power, the mm -hmm. 
that uh, Ashton, Ashton provides. provides, and you know, I mean, you've got you got Multiple five feeders. five or six backs that you can right. put in there, and that could start most any place. I would agree completely. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you look really solid on the offensive side of the ball. You jump to the defensive side. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the better defenses I've seen. It, just first one game. Mm -hmm. That's one of the best defenses that I've seen. They, you know, first of all, you've got eight guys coming back, and yeah. so that have played a lot of games and played in state championships. You've got guys who are very athletic, and uh, yeah. you know, you've got. We had four four interceptions in the first half and three fumble recoveries in the Which second. Which has got to be a record. I, I, it'd be we'd have to go way back to try yeah. and look yeah. for something like that. But uh, and then you've got a good scheme uh, against what they were doing the other night and. You put all that together, and uh, that that makes for a stingy defense. Well, uh, the guys were hitting hard. I mean, they were right from the day. I, 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 made, I made a mention on air the other night that the the last game I remember being that exciting and us being that dominant was Kilgore when Poppy first, you remember when he mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. his first game, remember he threw mm -hmm. for like 500 yards? Yeah. You, to or me, that was Diallo. Yeah. It was, it was Liberty Island. It was a Liberty yeah, Island. We won like 61 58. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just exactly. amazing. Uh -huh. So, right. There, there's there been, this was a good start. You're it happy was. with the start, I'm assuming. Absolutely. What else did you see that maybe we didn't see from a, you know, from a fan's perspective sure. that did? Sure. What would you call out? Well, you, you brought up the, the physicality of the game. That was a focal point going in. And, uh, you know, you look at certain plays, there was a kickoff that Amaro just went down and just hammered. Yeah, oh, he yeah. clocked You know, there's, yeah. there's, when, when you're doing things like that as a unit, uh, other, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. When you're getting hit like that, that, that starts to take a little edge off of you. You know, yeah. the old Mike Tyson quote, you know, everybody has a plan until you get hit in the mouth. That's right. Well, when, when you start getting uh, hit like that, it begins to take its toll. And so we've got some physical. Kids. We do, we do, and so that I think that's a big, uh, a big asset that we have right now, and we want to continue that. Uh, I'd also say the way uh, several of the seniors were on the sidelines was big. You know, just keeping guys into it and going up and down the the sidelines, talking to the guys on the on the side, keeping them into the game. You know, we played a lot of people. We 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 used a lot of young men. Yeah. And so you got to keep all those guys locked in and focused. And it's yeah. so easy when you haven't played maybe in a series or two to kind of drift off or get to talking or whatever. And, and the leadership kept them focused, and I was really pleased with that. Yeah, I, I think all the way around. We it was they 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 played mistake free for the most part. Kept their head in the game. The physicality. Mm -hmm. I mean, how would you like to line up and? Look across you and, and see the nose guard, mm, Braylon you Ward. know, like Braylon mm. Ward. I mean, what a physical player! Yeah. And then Aaron Bell, mm -hmm. you know, the <laughs> linebacker, linebacker. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's that's impressive. You got to be right. you. You got some size, some some strength, some mm -hmm. speed. Amaro, Aronis, Elias, mm -hmm. all those guys playing linebacker right. uh, on the outsides, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, just come up and hit you. And so oh, yeah. we got a lot of size and uh, a lot of skill kids. So anyway, congratulations on Thank a great you. win. Thank Didn't you. see that spread coming. I would have lost money gladly on that deal. No doubt. So why don't we go to some game film, okay. and look, we'll look at uh, a couple of plays. We've got about nine plays we're going to look at real quick that you picked out. Yes, sir. And decided that uh, these were noteworthy to share with the community. and. We'll have you, like we do every year, just kind of analyze the play and look at things that we may not be looking at. The first one is uh, Tate's kickoff return, which yes, is sir. pretty exciting, right well, after they had scored. Well, that's the thing. You know, here they just go down and score. Uh, now you have an opportunity. They've got the momentum. Their crowd's into it, et cetera. And so they're going to pooch kick it to our guy on the second line. And, of course, Tarek takes it, and he can go when he yeah. has the ball. Yeah. The thing that, that is really uh, – that stands out when you talk about, okay, so not everybody notices it. When you watch this this play here, it's three blocks. It's uh, our right tackle, our right guard, and our uh, one of our bulls. So right here you're going to see right there at the point of attack, we get a kick out by our right guard. We get a pin by our tackle and a kick out by our end, and that's what split – the, their line. It, it's those three guys doing their job. That freed him up. That freed him up. You know, and so obviously you have a guy like Tarek who can catch and run. That That's a blessing. 
But those three guys that, you know, in, in real time, you're not going to see all that. Yeah. But they were the reasons that it created this huge hole, and then you get Terry Cotton's And there wasn't going to be any catch in no, guys. No, he was One good. of the faster guys on the team. He right? is. He's yeah. on our, our last year's. Uh, sprint relay that went to state and four by two that went to state. As yeah, well. I, we've already called for a state championship in track this year. By we'll the way, on here, so we're gonna put you we'll up, put you on the spot there. At I'll least talk in to the coach Parker. About yeah, that. talk to him about that because we, you know, hundred meter and the four by one should we should have that sewn up this year. Okay. The second one is the. Uh, uh, we commit you to a lot of things. Just I you know, on air, that. I don't yeah. know if you ever watch the games, but we commit you to a lot of things. Okay. So this next one was the first interception of the game. Uh, we talked about him earlier. Big guy, Aaron. Aaron, Bell. Bell. Aaron. Aaron's in right here in the middle of your screen, uh, number zero, and he's going to basically watch the quarterback size. He's he's just following him, mirroring him. Quarterback sees his guy dragging across uh, on about the 26, 27 yard line. Aaron gets himself right in between, picks it right there. And then takes off back for the goal line for a big guy. He can run, you know. He's yeah, he can run. Really I, I really thought he was going to get in there. Yeah, he had and, a shot. and luckily, the 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 tackle was made low. Correct. Because he was coming up he high, he would have just over. carried him right into the, the end zone. But super job, great job, getting his hands up, catching it with his hands there, and just taking off and getting us down. We got now we've got first and goal inside the five. Yeah, and then uh, next you've got uh, you got Tate's interception. He Correct. had one. Correct. He, he had an interception, a kickoff return, and a reception for a touchdown. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad night. Pretty nice uh, hat trick there. So uh, we went ahead after that interception. We ended up scoring. Uh, but I went on to another defensive highlight. We've got another interception here, and this one's by Tarek. And so, uh, you know, they're in, they're in a minus yardage situation here. It's third and long. And so Coach Edwards takes out one of his interior guys, puts in another DB. And so now we've got – all kinds of defensive backs back there. Uh, you can tell the quarterback's a little bit unsure of where he's headed. He's got a crosser coming across about, I'm going to say, the 30-yard line right there, and he just floats it over him, and Tarek's right back there. As a DB, in his position, you just want to be the deepest guy. Yeah. And that's what he did and was able to make the pick. Yeah, ball's thrown basically right to right him. Right to him. Yeah, not right place, right time, right? Exactly. This next uh, highlight we're going to look at is Ashton Haynes. This is a touchdown. Uh, reception from mm -hmm. uh, Kate. Yeah, we run a screenplay. This is the play after the interception. So, you know, we scored, we get the interception, and now this is the next play. We run a screen to Ashton. Uh, and super job by the lineman blocking here. You're going to see uh, Caden do a great job of drawing the D-line into him. So here he is with his drop. Here comes the D-line. Now watch the wall of linemen out here with Ashton, we drop it to him. This kick block right here by Lucas Cano is pretty important because it makes that guy just take his angle too wide where he can't get his hand can't on get his hand Ashton. On him. Yeah. That's a critical block right there in the Sophomore screen. there. Yes. And then you've got our center uh, and backside guard. You've got Braden Seymour and Javarian Martin sealing. And then Ashton, he just slices He just through. does what he does. Yeah, he does yeah. what he does. You can see it here from the end zone view. Uh, it's It's a good view to watch it from. You can just watch how he slices right through the middle of these guys. Yeah, offensive line was all in the right position. That's right. Receivers yeah. did a great job blocking, got us on the board. That's what that's what frees these guys up. You know, we're always watching the ball. We're watching the runner. It's hard to, like you said, in real follow time. Follow those linemen. Follow yeah. what the linemen are doing. Correct. They set all this up. That's what I love about what we do here. It's fun. I wish we had instant replay on our broadcast. Maybe we can get to that at some point because – I'd love to be able to point those sure. things out in real real life. Mm -hmm. This next one is uh, we've got it listed as a Hayes, Ashton Haynes long run. It really should be listed as a touchdown. long touchdown. No doubt. There's yeah. no way. He, he, he touched. notched the pylon. Yeah. yeah. And, and no knee hit the ground. The, the no, first thing it hit was his it's, chest it's a touchdown. on the pylon. No but question, touchdown. Anyway. Uh, good run by Ashton. You're going to just see Watch his the spin move. Yeah, when he gets there. yeah, his ability he, inside the tackles. He's as good as as we've had. He just he's very gifted in there at finding the hole. See that spin move. Right. Look at that. Keeps his power moving. Gets out in the open. They've got some speed on their side, but you know, I mean, like I said, he gets in right Boom, there. That's a touchdown. Yeah, but they yeah. they gave us the ball at like the one, which didn't even make sense. I'm not sure how they. The guy I thought he got landed there, but this next one is uh, was actually Tennyson yes. touchdown. Yes, so this is the same series, 
And uh, they're really selling out to the inside run. You're going to watch this guy come off the edge to our left. He's going to come off the edge, and that's what he'd done the play before, trying to get our running back. Well, we just had Caden keep the ball and take off outside, and he ends up walking in. For the score. Yeah, completely untouched. Mm -hmm. Yep, and, uh, and because of Ashton's, threat up the middle mm -hmm. and they've been on the one yard out. line of course they think they're going to do it right. and 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 then any time that they don't sell out to that then we'll just give it to action, give it to action. exactly thus it's nice to have weapons it is like yeah. that in in both positions you really have a tailback as a quarterback oh yes you know you really is a great runner yeah he right. you, you and i talked about this preseason he mm -hmm. runs with anger he does like he when he comes around the corner you don't want as good as anybody yeah mm -hmm. he runs angry yeah uh, this next one was a uh, Tate TD catch. This is uh, one on the, I think, the 31, and uh, we decided let's just go up top. Their corner is playing within five yards of, of Tarek, and we felt like that's a good matchup for us. So Caden does his three-step drop and just oh, throws he, a beauty. Oh, he threw a, a nice yeah. pass right here. And Tarek's one of those guys, he can just jump up, touch the rim easy. You know, he can, he can go up and, and get a high ball. So they – and. A lot of times you hear people talk about the 50-50 ball. Well, he's one of those guys you want to give that to where uh, – 50% of the time he's going to come he's down He's going to come yeah. down with it. That's yeah, right. put, you, put a good athlete one-on-one -on -one with their athlete mm -hmm. and then just, you know. But the thing about you guys this season is is how many teams you're going to face that have the number of defensive backs that can match up athletically with the number of receivers that we can throw a ball to. Hopefully very few. There's going to be very, there's <laughs> going to be very few. Right, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, I, if you're a defensive coordinator, this is going to be difficult for you. That's this the plan. Through here, that's the idea. That is the this idea. next one was uh, Rowan Fluellen. He had a great game, by the mm -hmm. way. A lot of tackles and mm -hmm. some good, some key, you know, third down conversion. That exactly. was really key. Mm -hmm. This happens to be one of two interceptions that he had. Absolutely. So Rowan is he's so gifted back there in the secondary. He he's able to pick pick up on people's routes and he's great at reading quarterbacks. So the quarterback steps up and throws. He just jumps. He was our spy on, on that one. So the quarterback seeing the guy deeper back there behind and Rowan just undercuts the route, picks it off. And this was going into half. That would have been a critical time if they had scored to close that gap at halftime. They would have had the momentum. And so getting that stop right there was, was pretty important going into, into halftime. This last uh, clip we're going to look at is Tay Webb. This is a fumble recovery and one of one three, of three in the three second fumble half. Recovery, uh -huh. yeah. So you see they, you know, they had some trouble with the exchange back there, and we got guys hustling to the ball. Tay Webb jumps on it and, and comes up with the ball and, and gives us a chance to go down and score again and yeah. kind of put the game out of reach. It did. Yeah, because like I said, they were still in it in the third quarter. They, they had some momentum, right. came out and struck, and uh, closed the gap mm -hmm. within 10 points. Right. And uh, and we're thinking, man, this this is this could get interesting. This is this could get interesting really quick because momentum seemed to have right. shifted mm -hmm. coming out of halftime mm -hmm. to to their favor, mm -hmm. and then you know we shut it down, and then where you know, the wheels extended. came off after that. So right. uh, so excellent game. Congratulations Thank to you, you and the Buckeyes. And now we look forward to the next game. So we we're going to be home. We will be home, and we'll be playing who? Kilgore. Kilgore. Mm -hmm. Now Kilgore got beat by. Carthage. Carthage, but mm -hmm. we know Carthage, right? right? So it's kind of the same scenario. Mm -hmm. I believe it was 45 to 10, yes. something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Kilgore is a another larger team. They're Division One as well. Going into last week, they were, I think, what, ranked 8 or 9. Yeah, so they're certainly no slouch sweet. whatsoever. No, no, they're very solid. So they're going to come here, mm -hmm. and again, different teams match up differently. That's right. So you never, it doesn't matter that you beat number three, mm -hmm. number eight could whoop you up and down mm -hmm. the field because of the matchups That's on right. the field. A lot Good of people point. don't realize that. Good point. So you got to take this serious. Mm -hmm. You certainly can't say, well, we beat number three, so we can mm -hmm. sure beat number eight. No. Uh, that's not how the, the game it's not how the it played. Then we wouldn't play any and we'd just do the little calculations and nothing would go on the field. Yeah. yeah so uh, like what can we expect this coming week? Uh, they're big. When when you see them come out, you know they're uh, pretty in their uniform. You know, I mean they they are a they good always looking have size, They yeah. have size. They have good looking small athletes. college team. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, they've got a big running back that's talented. Uh, they have two of the best defensive tackles that you're going to see in East Texas. I mean, really, really got good. some size. So we'll have to you know be prepared for dealing with them up inside. Uh, and they get a good. They do a good job getting a lot of uh, penetration. Uh, by those two, so we've got to we've got to make sure in our scheming that we're prepared for that and, and can handle them. 
a uh, lot of tradition at Kilgore. You know, throughout the years, they've had a lot of winning teams. So you're talking about good program. Their head coach, Clint Fuller, used to be the DC at uh, Pleasant Grove uh, for a lot of years, and so we we know him and a lot of the things he does. But he's he's a really good coach. Uh, so should we be, it should be a good game. Should be a good game. I, I tell you, in Kilgore, we talk about tradition. One of the very best football games I've ever watched. Top probably three or four was right here in this mm -hmm. stadium against Kilgore. 2012. Kilgore. You remember the, mm -hmm. you remember the game I'm talking about? Yes. And uh, it was in, in last minute win. I believe Coach right here Bowman thing. knocked the pass down in the end zone for yeah. us to win the district championship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's exactly. pretty crazy. So, mm -hmm. uh, so, so we got a good. Tradition. I've watched some good games. Gilmer and Kilgore have fought some yes. good battles. So make sure you come out and support the Buckeyes here in person. And if you can't, you can certainly watch them uh, online as we broadcast. We apologize, by the way, for the broadcast trouble they were having, but nobody could get a signal in the stadium. We had no Wi-Fi. We had no cell signal. Poor Eric Connitz was our tower all night trying to run the board and the cameras and hold up the, the you know our device. We were doing the best we could, but that, that place has no signal whatsoever. It was yeah. terrible. So before we go real quick, I you know, I've had the the awesome privilege to say what I'm about to say to you for the last two or three years at least. That since you've been around and even before right before you took over and Matt was still in charge. Um, quality character of this team. You're Talk saying describe it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, each year I, it's a a new team. You know, not just physically, but the uh, the people. You know, and how are they? How are personalities. their personalities? Yeah, the personalities, the the strengths, the weaknesses, the those kind of things. Uh, every year, there's always a. Uh, it's almost like a, a baby deer that's trying to walk. You know, and they're wobbly mm -hmm. and all that. And we we've had some wobbly. You know, but we do every year, quite frankly. Yeah. And we're, we're working on that. We're working on uh, how to get the guys that have been following all these years and doing it well to now, okay, you're the one that they're looking at. And, and that's a whole different field. That's a pressure, yeah. you know, that's a responsibility. And uh, so that's something that we want to each year, by the time uh, we should have no different when we talk about our playing execution, we're talking about character. We should have milestones, you know, about week six, I'd be able to go, oh yeah, we've crossed some milestones here. You know, week 12, we've crossed some milestones here in the confidence of these guys leading and so forth. So uh, I would say we have tremendous potential in this area. And I'm, I'm enjoying watching guys begin to take steps in stepping into manhood, quite frankly. So are we there yet? No. Yeah. Do we have great potential? Absolutely. And I think it's the key component to really accomplishing anything great this well, season. And we always say that this is a mission field. Correct. This is your football's a great, you know, metaphor for That's life, right. or mm -hmm. you know, and and uh, and what we're really doing down here, and the and the point of all extracurricular activity, whether it be FFA or right. man, whatever. Is it's not just about playing, right? It's not just a game. And I get so frustrated when right. people Don't can't understand, understand this right. that we're training uh, hard work and work ethic and teamwork and responsibility and leadership. Yeah. And the, the, the stuff that's required of these boys to get to play the game. Right. And I, I got to tell you, I really love this team. Of course, I have a special place in my heart for this senior group because my son's a senior right. this year and has been in this uh, program and I've seen the results of it. Uh, in his life, uh, the responsibility and the and the but what I love is the camaraderie. Right. I love how these kids love each other. Correct. Like I remember even when I was in school. I mean, we had some of us that really liked each other and a bunch of knuckleheads. It mm -hmm. seemed like this group just really is cohesive. They right. love each other. They support mm -hmm. each other. They you just don't see a lot of drama, you know, right. amongst them. And mm -hmm. and I, I, they're respectful. Mm -hmm. You know, every time I walk through this locker room, it's all Mr. Ash, Mr. Ash, Mr. Ash. I mean, just respectful. Mm -hmm. And I just love this group, and yes. I and I appreciate what you guys do, you coaches do. And I know the teachers. I'm going to speak for the teachers in the in the school in the hallways because what a lot of you may not realize is if if a student if a student athlete gets in trouble in uh, in the classroom. And the teacher chooses to tell the coach, <laughs> which they often will. They do. The boys have to pay for it down here. No doubt. They pay for their crime down here, yeah. and they have to push the mm -hmm. the, push the board, and push the board the up and down the field. Yeah. yeah. 
So uh, it helps keep discipline in the mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's a great deal. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm, we're going to check back in with you and yeah, see how yeah. we're maturing yeah. and, and hopefully bring some of these guys in. That'd be awesome. I'd like to get a lot more mm -hmm. you know, students in and right. interview them and let them have a chance to talk. And I think that's great. This year, so good luck with Kilgore. Congratulations on your first win. Thank you. We'll take uh, it. You've got a hard schedule, by the way. You scheduled a pretty mm -hmm. tough schedule you've got. Kilgore, and then you got Paris, Paris, and, and then Lindale. Lindale, Lindale and, and we open with. We don't have to tell anybody about you know Paris oh, yeah. is 5A, Lindale's mm -hmm. state, you know, uh, or missed the state championship by two, you know last year, mm -hmm. last couple of years. Two years so. ago, they were in it. Yeah, yeah. so they're mm -hmm. they're they're powerful, right? Uh, and a bigger bigger school. Right. So these first four games are they'll be they'll be uh, real real challenges for us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not coach speak. Well, which is great because right. then you're ready to go into district mm -hmm. and then be on that. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, folks, we're, it's football time. Uh, it is football season in Gilmer and all across this great state of Texas. And thank you so much for your support. For the Buckeyes, we hope that you guys will come out and uh, cheer them on uh, this next week as they take on Kilgore here in Buckeye Stadium at 730. If not, be sure to watch us on the broadcast, and we will see you next week on The Coach Show. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.